Hi, John. Hello. Hi. The, uh, the main uh, was formed in 2007. Correct. Years ago. Uh, what were you doing previous to the main, music-wise? Uh, music-wise, I was going to concerts. Um, this is the first band I've ever been in, actually. Um, I was enrolled in college, actually, back at home. I was a freshman at Arizona State University, and uh, I was at a party one night, and I'd always kind of dabbled in music. I, I'm a, just a huge music lover. It's my life. That's all it's ever been. But it's never been in the front of everything. It's always been going to shows and listening to music and just being passionate about it. But uh, we were at a party, and our manager, Tim, was like, hey, my brother's band uh, needs a singer. And, so I told him, yeah, I was kind of drunk, and I was like, yeah, I'll be, the, I'll be the singer, I'll go try out tomorrow, and he's like, ah, oh, yeah, right. So I ended up doing it, and then we started jamming, and we wrote songs, and then we borrowed uh, our bass player's parents' Suburban and went out on tour that summer, so we've just been on the road ever since, pretty much. But, but, but um, were you actually, well, singing before, or was it just... No, no, I just, I don't know. I just gave it a shot, and it's. Uh, I'm not saying I'm a singer. I'm just. I'm kind of just working with whatever I have. So, uh, luckily, it's been it's been a, an amazing run the past four years. So. Did you did you did you write songs before you were in the? In I the did a lot of program stuff. I would uh, work a lot on like Reason and and a lot of programs on the computer and just make my own beats. And I never sang on any of them, but I just composed songs and kind of pieced it together. But that was kind of the most. Uh, advanced stuff that I had done, so. Well, the singing, how were you convinced that you could sing then? I wasn't. I just have, I feel like I have an all right sense of melody, um, not necessarily like saying that I'm a good singer, I just hear things in my head and I feel like I can at least attempt to get to that point or whatever I'm thinking of in my head. Um, so uh, it's definitely a learning process. I mean, I'm, I'm figuring things out every day and I'm figuring out my limits and where I can take things and at least try to take things. But uh, yeah, it's been very interesting. But well, you, you, you said you, 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 you auditioned and then, well, it, now it's four years later, so you did touring, singing, mm -hmm. uh, recordings. Um, have you ever had problems with your voice? last four years because I can imagine previously you well, you didn't do anything with your voice mm -hmm. and now four years extensively so yeah I think it's like I said it's a learning process and I think uh, like more than half of the game is just a mental battle and it's uh, if you tell yourself you're feeling sick and you're feeling hoarse I mean obviously if there's if it gets to a point where I can't talk or can't even speak then uh, then yeah it, you know it's being just from lack of sleep and, and overuse of the voice, but uh, I think a lot of it's just that mental struggle and just waking up and being appreciative and, and just really enjoying what I do and not taking anything for granted. And um, There's been times when I haven't been able to speak or, or we had to cancel a few shows because of my voice, but luckily uh, I'm keeping my fingers crossed, but it hasn't been too bad. So You were saying the mental struggle, uh, how do you cope? Um, a lot of alcohol. <laughs> no, uh, no I think it's, uh, it's, it's, a, it's being around good people and it's really believing in what we're doing and, and being passionate and just, uh, you know, like I said, taking every day like it's going to be the last time you're a band and just really embracing it all. But was it a slip of a tongue, the alcohol, or was it just a joke? No, yeah, yeah it's just a joke. But, but, you I, do, but you do drink alcohol. Yeah, alcohol. yeah, yeah. Okay. Um, you were saying you were, before the main, you were visiting concerts. Um, can you name a few concerts that you were really impressed by? Oh man, um, I think I was in eighth grade. It was like, uh, I think the most memorable experience that I had was uh, the Pop Disaster Tour. It was uh, Blink-182, Green Day, and Jimmy Eat World. Jimmy Eat World's from Arizona, and I've always been a huge fan of Jimmy Eat World. And just to see somebody from Arizona on that level and playing with that those caliber of fans um, it's really like it's motivation for me now being in a band and seeing that a group of people can make music that they're true to and they stay true to and they can be successful after so many years I mean they've been a band for God knows how long and they're still doing it so um, that's probably the one concert that I 
that I really remember. The first concert I ever went to was a, a band called Homegrown from Orange County, California, and a band called Millencolin. And it was the first time I had ever been in a concert, and I crowd surfed, and it was just the most kick-ass show ever. How old were you? I was in seventh grade, so I guess I was uh, 13, maybe, 12, 13. Right. Sounds good. Yeah. Crowd surfing.